I can't reach it. Seems to be locked from within. The aquarium is one big ice cube. That rusty pile of junk won't let me. A treasure chest. I don't think that will work. Despite his size and rustiness, this guy is a pretty robust robot. All that would do is make him shinier. Prized pin. I don't think that will be very effective against this sturdy stone gargoyle. Thanks for giving me a hand. Just rip it open with my bare hands. The key to my cell. It's all very funny until someone loses an eye. It's all very funny until someone loses an eye. I don't want to smash the paint to bits.
Why not? If I don't want to slip, I'd better be careful. Gotta fly! Time for some debugging. Spill water all over that poor rusty robot. A stove. It's already cooked. Doesn't need to be flame broiled. Somehow, I'm not hungry. My mother taught me not to stick my hand into a fire a long time ago. About the same time, she taught me that you should never, never get stuck in a cartoon world. My hand's too big to fit in there. One turkey is enough. He's rusted in place. A cooked turkey. The knight's gauntlet. The clown's prized pin. A red rubber glove full of helium. A balloon inflated with helium. Ask the guy for a hand and he just falls apart. <laughs> that radio is so loud, it's a wonder they can hear themselves think. nailed down. I can't just rip it open with my bare hands. It's all very funny until someone loses an eye. This ought to work. Hello? 
okay. All right, buddy. Step away from the frog. It's okay. I'm a friend of your brother's. My brother's? Did, did they send you to rescue me? Well, uh... Oh, yeah. I knew it. So, my new friend, what's our escape plan? Well, that plan is still kinda in the development stage. Just a few loose notes, really. All right, I don't have a plan. Oh, hey, wait a second. Are you the alien? I guess. Yeah, I overheard Nefarious talking about you and some kind of trans-dimensional warp device that he's created. Yeah, created. Warp device? He said the device can transport him to your world and he's been conducting experiments in his headquarters on the fourth floor. My world? This could be my ticket home. I'm not leaving here without that device. Well, what about you? I'm afraid this isn't much of a rescue. Don't worry about me, new friend. Now that you've set me free, I can try to swim to shore and go for help. But you look for the warp device. Swim to shore? But that's impossible. Oh, Toadstool. Not if you're a frog. Before I go, take this. Yeah. I think it has something to do with the warp device, but I'm not sure what. One of Nefarious's henchmen dropped it. Thanks, Ray. Thank you for freeing me, friend. I'll never forget you. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, definitely good luck. Hiding in a crate. The oldest trick in the book. I can really stick it to him. The fuse is really short. I better make this fast. fast. Here you go, guys. Have a blast.
At least our party ended with a bang. I'm afraid they've rocked their last rock and socked their last sock. They're definitely more appealing than they were, but I still don't want to touch them. I think the eight ball sunk for this pool table. Shattered in the explosion. That was as easy as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another security door. And this is the ugliest one yet. Another security door. by that. a high voice henchman trick. It works every time. Cool shades, but they sure are dark. Yes, yes. It is all exactly as I had foreseen. Soon, my master will obliterate the cutifier. Wait, what's this? King Hugh? In the sky? He's pursuing Flux wildly. He's angry. He plans to seize the cutifier. I must alert my master. Flux, now you have two lunatics on your tail? I've got to hurry. Maybe I should show someone how cool I look in my new shades. Hmm. Ah, 
An uninvited guest. Hmm. Hmm. on the fritz. Either that, or doubles as a snow globe. Hello? Anybody home? Here, kitty. Yes, master? Master? Did you call me master? Yes, master. This isn't one of your tricks, is it? I have no tricks, master. Only my boundless dedication to you. I only want to be of use to you, master. Huh. Now, this should be interesting. Miss Fortune. Yes, Master? There's somewhere I want you to go. I'd go to the ends of the world for you, my Master. Actually, the hallway outside will be fine. As you wish, Master. Okay, you really want to help me out? Stick one of your paws in that scanner slot. I live only to obey you, Master. Hey, thanks a million. And I really mean that. Now, scat. Scat? Scat, as in get lost. The last thing I need is some sleepwalking furball following me around. Lost. Yes, Master. Then again, I really would be crazy not to take advantage of this situation. Miss Fortune, I command that upon waking you will feel as if your fur is infested by a platoon of parasites. You will constantly itch in places you could never quite reach. Itch like an alley cat, as you wish, Master. When you see your pal Nefarious, or any of his lackeys, you will address them with only the foulest, most perverse gutter slang you can dredge up. No insult is too ugly or too crude. Ugly and crude. Yes, Master. As for myself and my friends, well, you'll have nothing but the nicest things to say to us. How's that sound? Fabulous, Master. I love what you've done with your hair. You catch on fast. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Have fun. Power's off. The power seems to be off. It says power offline. There's a door in the way. The power seems to be off. Mm. This thing won't budge. I guess I need to get the power back on. The power seems to be off. The power seems to be off. I knew these would come in handy. Genius. Hello, power. It says power online. System ready. Voila! Bingo! Eureka! Etc. Impressive. All right, Nefarious. I have your warp device, and I know how to use it. Well, not really. 
But I'm sure I can figure something out. Impressive. Impressive. Congratulations, not necessary. I haven't seen such pathetic security since, well, since the last time I dealt with your henchmen. I have to admit, I expected more from you, Nefarious. Now say goodbye to your machine. Just a moment, Mr. Blank. Don't bother, Nefarious. There's nothing you can say. Nothing? Well, then answer me this. Why would you want to embark on this asinine little outing when I can simply send you back to your own world? No deal. I've heard it enough. But, Mr. Blank, I'm only looking out for your best interests. Remember your unfortunate little run-in with my syringe? The clock is ticking. This may be your last chance. I don't need your help, Nefarious. I've already found your warp device, and now I'm gonna throw you right out of the skies! Go! I command you! I haven't finished! Come on, you damn machine! Master! There you are, Nefarious. You too, Fluffy. Come on, come on. Almost there. Say goodnight. Yes! Hold on, Flux, little buddy. Hold on. <laughs> Give me flux. This is the only way. from a little old fall. Although, I guess that doesn't help you much. Fox! It gets worse! The fire shot me full of beauty genetic! Any minute now, I'm going to turn into a tube! Even if the fall doesn't kill me, I'll be trapped here forever! Drew, you're doomed! Listen! I do have one hope! Ah! I stole this warp device from the forest and they sent me home. Oh, they may blow me up. Just smell the rings. Either way, I'm going to have to use it. Now! Wait! Take this! It's a trans-dimensional communication device. You know, so we can keep in touch. Thanks for saving me and the world. I had a blast. Me too. So long. So long, little buddy. So little 
buddy. Fluffy Bun Bun Show needs is Flux Wildly. Yes! Well, well, Blank. You're early. What happened to you? Pulled it all night, Mr. Schmaltz. Hmm. Well, do me a favor. Lose the stubble. Now, let me see those rabbits. Actually, sir, what I'm about to show you is better than bunnies. Better than bunnies? Mm -hmm. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about Flux Wildly! Flux what? Wildly, sir. Flux Wildly. This little guy is just the revitalizing shot in the arm you yourself suggested the Fluffy Show needs. Although I think Flux would probably describe it more as a kick up the old wazoo. See, sir? Flux is wacky. He's sarcastic. He's playful. He'll be the Lord of Fluffy's Hardy, the Costello to Fluffy's Abbott, the Yin to Fluffy's Yang. <laughs> Fox and Fluffy, Laurel and Hardy, Yin and Yang. Yin, Yang, Blank. I've been patient with your little lapses, but this, this is inexcusable. Are you single-handedly trying to destroy everything Fluffy has built for us over the last 10 years? Well, are you? No, 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 sir. <laughs> then I suggest you do what I told you to do. Produce the biggest bushy-tailed batch of cute, cuddly bunnies ever rendered by first thing tomorrow morning. Or else you'll find that it will be you who gets the kick of the old wazoo. Yes. Thank you, sir. Sorry, buddy. I tried. I really tried. I wish there was some way I could make it up to you.